You don't really wanna be me, I'm the press. No, I'll take nothing less than the best. I came to be the greatest, but I don't give a fuck about it. It is what it is, I gotta do something else. Don't want no help, but no handouts. I'ma take my own rap. Why you bitches sit still? I'ma run up a mill. Maybe go up to the hills, but I ain't popping no more pills. Rest in peace, juice, you gotta realize what it's life. Please don't take me soon, I need to see what life is like. I gotta do it for myself, fuck the rest. Gotta do it for myself, what is rest? I'ma take a few with me, cause the world will be against me. Every single day, my mind still feels empty. Every single day, the shit's still getting tempting. Hey, you put your phone down and focus. I am focused. No, you put the phone down. Okay, jeez. Now, what are we gonna go? Uh, let's see. I got my slides. Uh, I got my tie. Yeah, I'm. I'm pretty much ready to go. God, you were nervous. Handicapped? Really? Yeah, I don't care. Hey, I gotta get my phone. I got it. I got it, James. Let's go. Come on. Can I help you, gentlemen? Yes, we're with Prism Systems. We have a 9 o'clock with Mr. Booth. Fabulous. If you'll have a seat, I'll let Mr. Booth know you're here. Okay, thank you. Mr. Booth, your 9 o'clock is here. 9 o'clock. When did you learn business etiquette? You gotta play the role if you want the dough, you know what I'm saying? From corporate wannabe to ghetto rapper in two seconds. That may be a new record. Mr. Booth, your nine o'clock is here. Mr. Booth, Mr. Booth, this way. Good morning, gentlemen. Good morning, sir. I'm nice James. Nice to meet you. This is my nice associate to meet here. You. Nice to meet you. Uh, James has told me a lot about you. All good, I hope. Uh, uh, come on up. The whole bunch of people are there to meet you. Mr. Booth, Mr. Booth. They're eager. This, this way. Associate? Would you rather me said to press sidekick? Touche. Good morning, everyone. Thank you for being prompt. We are on a bit of a tight schedule, so let's get right to it. I want to introduce you guys to Derek Moore and James Gilbert. They are the owners of Prism Systems, and they are here to hopefully solve our software issues. Mr. Moore, you have the floor. Thank you. And good morning to all of you. Mr. Booth has informed us of the networking issues you have here at BME, and Mr. Gilbert and I are more than confident that we have what it takes to not only solve your current problems, but to also optimize your systems and increase your profit margins within a short period of time. Now here, we have some graphs. Is it, is it five hens in a pear tree? Six? Or is it four? He's got kind of crazy eyes, doesn't he? It's a little weird. Fucking psychotic. At least they're dressed apart. So many of these kids look like they're homeless anymore, even when they're not. I wonder if they're going to bring the villain out in the next episode. And now it could be a crossover. They do have that next movie coming out, and they did tease... Oh, but then they'd have to bring in that actress, and that would be a nightmare. Nobody's paying attention right now. This is taking forever. I know Mr. Booth has to take a piss. Yep. And that is what we have to offer you. James and I thank you for your time, and we look forward to working with you in the near future. Thank you, Mr. Moore. Gilbert. That was uh, an enlightening presentation. My colleagues and I will review your work and then get back to you by the end of the week. Thank you.
Great job, buddy. You nailed it. I don't know. Didn't seem like I had all the high points like I should. Oh, come on. Mr. Booth was practically drooling. Senility does have its advantages. Well, I guess there's that. I don't know. I'm not sure we did enough to land this contract. Oh, come on. That contract's being written up as we speak. Well, at least one of us is confident. It's a burden I proudly bear. The young entrepreneur and the keeper of my very uptight business partner. I'm not uptight. I'm subdued. Subdued? You were so uptight, I couldn't pull a staple out of your ass with a tow truck. That's a colorful analogy. It's somewhat painful. I believe that's it. We're looking forward to working with you. Yes. Great. That is awesome, Mr. Booth. We are looking forward to working with you, too. Great. Thank you. Woo! Dude, I cannot believe the kind of money they just offered us. This is going to cover our overhead for the entire year. It's a pretty good deal. A pretty good deal? This is an amazing deal. What about our other clients? We'll figure that out. Don't worry about them. The deal isn't even signed yet. They could still back out. Can you please just look on the bright side? I look at the bright side. Sometimes. You wouldn't know the bright side if it came through the door, unzipped your fly, and gave you the blowjob of a lifetime. You know that actually happened to me back in college. <sighs> okay. Derek? You are a co-owner of one of the fastest growing software development companies in the country. Our future is full of unlimited possibilities. Why are you such a miserable dick all the time? I am not a miserable dick. I just like to be prepared for the worst case scenario in every situation. Which 99% of the time never happens. There's always the 1%. You know, if you weren't one of the most amazing programmers I have ever met, I would fire your ass in a second. You can't fire me. I'm co-owner, remember? See, it's that kind of shit. You can't even recognize a joke when you hear it anymore. I recognized it. See? I almost smiled. If you don't get out of this funk soon, I'm worried you're going to crawl in some deep, dark, depressing hole that you are never going to crawl out of. I like the dark. Well, that's great for you. But I'm afraid you're going to take me and this company with you, and I can't have that. What are you saying? When we sign this deal, you're going to take a vacation somewhere, anywhere, and try to find something or anything that's going to even make you slightly happy. What if I can't? Then I'm going to get you fitted for a nice white evening jacket with sleeves that tie in the back. Thanks, buddy. Maybe I just need to take a long walk, clear my head. Maybe I'll head down to the park by Angel Falls. That sounds great. Take the rest of the day off. Why don't you soak your head while you're down there? <sighs> hey, Sparky. Stand there too long and the birds might mistake you for a statue. Huh? I just noticed you were deep in thought, and I didn't want the birds to use you as their own personal urinal. Just have a lot on my mind, that's all. That's cool. Happens to a lot of us now and then. I'm Ariel, by the way. I'm sorry, I'm... Derek? Nice to meet you, Derek. Nice to meet you. This is one of my favorite hangouts. Beautiful, serene, really helps to clear the mind. I sure could use that right now. So what's got you all night of the living dead? I really don't feel like talking about it, especially with someone I just met ten seconds ago. Wow. Thanks for that little blow to the ego. I apologize. I'm just not the kind of person that opens up to everyone I meet walking the street. <sighs> From stranger to prostitute, you're really racking up the bonus points there, Sparky. <sighs> I, I don't mean to be rude. Believe me. You seem like a very nice person. But you're a dark, brooding soul teetering on the edge of the abyss. I never said that. 
snow, but it's a lot more exciting than staring aimlessly out at the water, whining about how life didn't turn out the way you thought it would. Is there a reason why you're trying to destroy what little amount of self-esteem I have left? Believe it or not, I was sent here to save you from your miserable existence and show you the wonders of the world and all it has to offer. Seriously? Yeah. And also I think you're kind of cute, but I hate to see people unhappy. So why don't we go for a walk? Why would I do this? It's that or we could stand here all day while I verbally abuse you until you double over into a weeping mound of flesh. Somehow the walk is sounding better and better. I knew you'd see it my way. You're not going to lead me into the woods and tie me to a tree, are you? <laughs> no, you're too cute for that. Huh, said the spider to the fly. A hint of humor. Sparky does have a funny bone hidden down deep in there somewhere. Why do you keep calling me Sparky? Because that's all I see hiding behind that mask of despair and depression. Never fear, Ariel will turn that tiny spark into an inferno of elation and joy before you know it. You really are a strange woman, and you scare me a little. But you're intrigued, aren't you? Not sure whether it's intrigue or unadulterated fear. Either way, it makes you want to stick around and find out how it ends, doesn't it? Man, I love the woods. There's nothing more fortifying for the soul than standing beneath the trees and breathing in the crisp, clear air. Along with the gas fumes and the lingering odor of the dumpster at the other end of the park. All right, Sparky, time to set some ground rules over here. Rule number one, 86 the negativity, it's not an attractive quality. I'll remember to put that on my dating profile. Rule number two, mouth shut eyes and ears open. You're never going to learn anything from me if you're talking all the time. Me. Talking. And rule number three? Smile every once in a while. Life is meant to be enjoyed, not cursed. <laughs> That's what you think. That's what I know, among many, many other things. Like what things? Like I knew you and I were meant to meet here today. You knew this for a fact? I do. There are no happy accidents in the world. Only meaningful encounters. So you're a fortune teller. That explains the outfit. That's it. I can put up with you bad-mouthing the woods, but I will not tolerate you bad-mouthing my wardrobe. Whatever. Like it or not, you and I are going to be seeing a lot more of each other. And the sooner you learn one thing, the better off you'll be. What's that? I always get my way. <laughs> man, Come on, Sparky, you better keep up or I'll lose ya. God forbid. Hello. How's my favorite bookworm doing on this fantabulous day? You are unusually perky, even for you. Did you save a family of puppies from a burning building or something? Good guess, but no, I found my next project. <gasps> oh, what is it this time? Homeless man? Bitter divorcee. Brooding businessman. Mmm, I see. Are we taking a detour on the highway of lost souls? Maybe. He has a lot of issues to deal with. I may have to itemize my list on this one. And? What do you mean, and? You aren't usually smiling from ear to ear <laughs> when discussing your projects. Well, 
He is super cute. <laughs> <laughs> there it is. I knew there was an underlying explanation for your explosion of giddiness today. Now, now, he's just another person who needs a little direction in their life. Nothing more, nothing less. I don't think so. I have never seen this reaction from you. Are you sure there may not be a tiny particle of romantic interest there? No. No way. That can never happen. Why not? You could use some personal attention for a change. Says the woman who lives through her laptop. Oh, that's different. You thrive on human interaction. I loathe it. I will never understand your obsession with people and their problems. Alas, tis a burden I must bear to my dying day. Your flair for the dramatic never ceases to amaze me. You love me and you know it. <laughs> now, back to the new guy. How do you think I should approach it? Uh, you're asking me? Good point. I'd better draw up a plan of attack. I'm confident you'll succeed. You always do. Of course. And when I'm done with this one, I'm coming after you. Oh no, please. I'm perfectly happy in my current surroundings. You say that now, but you never know when Aerial Magic will shower you with the happiness you've been waiting for your whole life. Good thing I have an umbrella. Ah, spoil sport. Mm. Hey, good morning. Hey. How was the park? Did you uh, find the meaning of life or whatever? Not even close. I may have discovered a new species of human being. Excuse me? I met a very bizarre woman. Bizarre like curiously bizarre or like bizarre like where your skin is a mask bizarre? I think a bit of both. Sounds like a keeper to me. Think you're gonna see this uh, new species again? Something tells me I will, whether I want to or not. Did we get that paperwork from BME yet? Uh, no, not yet. I just talked to Mr. Booth, and we should have it by the end of the day. Great. The sooner we get that paperwork signed, the sooner we can dive into their networking issues. Wait, hold up. Did I just hear, like, determination and focus in your voice? Shut up. This girl has already made that kind of effect on you. I don't even know who she is, but I want to hire her. Still not funny. What about our other clients? Have you heard anything from them? Everything going smooth? Sorry to interrupt, but there's someone here to see you. I don't have any appointments. Is it a salesman or something? Uh, not exactly. I believe she's actually here to see Mr. Moore. I don't have any appointments either. Uh, she says she's looking for Sparky, whatever that means. No way. That's the woman from the park. She tracked you down already? Oh my gosh, I gotta meet this girl. Bring her What? In. What are you doing? Oh, I am not missing this for the world. You were such a dick. Good morning. morning, Sparky! How the hell did you find me? I told you we'd be seeing a lot more of each other. What better time than the present? I like her already. Thanks, Waves, and you are? I'm James, I'm Derek's business partner. Did you just call me Waves? Sure did. Wh why? She seems to have a nickname for everyone. But like, why Waves, though? Because you kind of remind me of a surfer dude. That's the name Waves. Hard to argue with that logic. If I can interrupt the Gidget Goes to the Beach reunion, why are you here? Because I thought I'd take you out for a little pick-me-up. It's a beautiful day, and you need to get out and partake. I would agree. He does look like he could use some sun. Who asked you, Waves? She did. So what do you think? Uh, coffee at the cafe or energy drinks down by the pier? Coffee in a cafe. We don't want to overload him just yet. True, he seems to have a limited capacity for excitement. Thanks a lot. Don't I have a say in this? No. no. Okay, so you have me out here drinking overpriced coffee in the middle of the morning. Want to tell me why you're stalking me? Stalking? Oh, contraire, mon frere. If I were stalking you, would I walk into your place of business and kidnap you in broad daylight? <laughs> you have a point there. Exactly. Now, on to more important things. Why are you so miserable? I'm not miserable. I simply see the world as it is. An unmitigated disaster. This is going to be tougher than I thought. What if I told you I could change your view of the world? Mm -hmm. What would it be worth to you? Does it involve you leaving me alone afterwards? I'd pay you for it. Nope, not even close. Hmm. 
Damn. I was ready to empty out my 401k. I don't take checks either, so let's move on. What did this to you? Did what? Turned you into this morbid person. You weren't always this way. And how do you know that? Been gazing into your crystal ball? I know how to read people. <laughs> it's all part of the job. What job might that be? Uh, uh, uh. No questions yet. This is about me delving into the deep, dark mystery that is Derek. <laughs> so, I can't find out anything about you while you bore into my damaged psyche? Correct! Well, Miss Aaron, I am, as you know, a businessman. And negotiations for this deal have just opened up. Oh. Sparky goes on the defensive. It won't work, but I can play along. What are the terms to this negotiation? If I choose to answer some of your questions, I need something in return. What do you need in return, pray tell? A little quid pro quo. I get to ask you a personal question. Nope, not part of the deal. Trying to stonewall me, I see. Then I refuse to answer any questions. You know that's not gonna work, right? I'm gonna find out what I want to know one way or another. Yes, unfortunately I do. Can't blame a guy for trying. <laughs> Aw, you were so cute when you're utterly defeated. Tell you what, for every wall that I break down, you get to ask one question. I decide whether I answer it or not. Okay. All right, deal. But if you go too deep, I reserve the right to refuse. Fair enough. Well, now that we've made our deal, I guess I'll let you get back to work. Hmm. So when will this interrogation begin? Will I get any warning? Of course not. First rule of warfare, always keep your opponent on the defensive. Warfare, huh? Is it too early to raise the white flag? Way too early. We have a lot to accomplish and such little time to get it done in. But boy, is it going to be fun. By the way, Jin! <laughs> Hey! Hey! How was coffee date? It wasn't a date, and it went about as strange as I expected. Boom! I won the office pool! Yeah? Hey. So you're betting on me now? Yeah, why not? It's easy money. What are you doing? Doing some research on our resident psychopath. Aw, me think someone's a bit smitten. Please. Never do that again. I could just find out some more about her. I can use it to my advantage. Don't you think you're missing something? Like what? Last name, occupation, anything of substance? How hard can it be to find one over-energized gawk girl? Yeah, in a city of two million people, piece of cake. Mm. At least I have her first name. I can narrow it down considerably using that search criteria. Yeah, if that's her real name. You think she'd use a fake name? Are you shitting me? A woman that you met in the park that drug you into the woods and then trekked you down at your job. Good point. Damn it. Well, what am I supposed to do? First, take a breath. <sighs> Thank you. Now, just go with the flow. Let it come to you. And please, just admit that you're interested in this girl. I'm not interested. I'm just cautiously curious. That sounds like what dogs do when they sniff each other's butts. So I'm a butthole sniffer now. Well, why do you think I let you handle all the presentations? Nice. Hey, seriously. If you don't at least admit that you're somewhat interested in this girl, next time she comes in, I'm gonna tell her about our trip to Cancun and the Mexican strip. Okay, fine. I'm interested. There, you happy now? Yep, sure am. Well, let's get back to work. I got a big project I gotta handle. What project? 
I gotta calculate the over under on how long it takes you to fall for this girl. I am making a killing in these office pools. Asshole. <laughs> huh. I don't recognize this number. What's it say? Tomorrow morning, 10 a.m., Zip Line Park. Don't be late, Sparky. How the hell did she get my number? Uh, I have no idea. Of course you don't. That's why I handle the presentations. Why? Because you're a shitty liar. Waves. I hope you enjoy the ride, Sparky. Exactly, we are at a zip line park. Because you need to loosen up. We're never gonna progress if you don't pull your underwear out of your ass. For your information, I'm not wearing any underwear. <laughs> ah, TMI! I find it's easier for people to be honest and open after a ride on the red gurgitator. Oh, yeah! You're gonna love it. gets its name from. You're not gonna hurl, are you? No, but I think I lost my left nut. Oh, that's a pretty picture. Come on, let's get some drinks. Not sure I can hold anything down. You'll be fine. Just in case, aim that way. Don't ruin my new outfit. <laughs> I don't think anyone would notice. Okay, Sparky, spill it. Sorry, poor choice of words. Spill what? The origin of your misery. How did you get to this point? Some things are just not cut and dry. Yes, I know. You're a complicated person comprised of layer after layer of angst and sorrow. Yes, I am. Can we please go now? Do you think I'd give up that easily? <sighs> no. I guess it's not really one thing in particular. It's year after year of life just dumping, you know, trusting people just to get shit on, always reaching for that goal, you know, you will never reach. Okay, so we're making some progress. Nothing earth shattering, but we're getting there. Glad you think so little of my personal issues. Life is about perspective. Have you ever been homeless? No. Have you ever been on your deathbed clinging to your life? No. See? Things aren't as bad as you make them out to be. The struggles you've encountered are put there to strengthen you, not send you into the abyss. Did you get that from If your... you stay from my crystal ball again, I'm gonna break yours. <laughs> All right, fine. I guess I never thought about it that way. 
look past the what and understand the why. If you can do that, you can conquer anything. Good advice. Now my turn. What? <laughs> well, now I get to ask you a question. Okay, keep it simple. Remember, this is about you. I gotta ask, where in God's name do you come from? <laughs> Why do you gotta say it like that? <laughs> I don't know, I just wanna get to know the real Ariel. Where do you think I'm from? I don't know, I'm picturing some dimly lit turn of the century mansion covered in cobwebs made of candy sprinkles. <laughs> I like it, but no, I'm from up north. Where up north? Uh uh uh. One question at a time. Come on. We have just enough time to make it to the Colon Crusher. Dare I ask what that is? It's better if you don't. I scared you? You need to wear a bell or something. <laughs> I did that last year, remember? How could I forget? So, how was the zip line? <sighs> Outstanding, as usual. And how is Mr. Sparky, is it? He's good. We made a few strides today. Uh, still slow going. Mm-hmm. Yeah. What do you mean, mm-hmm? I just figured out something very interesting. And what might that be? You're attracted to him. Uh, absolutely not. I keep it strictly business with my projects. Your eyes tell a different story. My eyes? Yes, your pupils dilate whenever you talk about them. You are watching my pupils dilate. That's creepy <sighs> even for you. I'm in law school, remember? I'm trained to tell when people are lying and when they're telling the truth. He does nothing for me. This is strictly business. See, you're lying right now. Ugh, stop that. I can't be attracted to him. Relationships are not feasible for me. See, I've been wondering that about you. Why do you never date? I could ask you the same question. Hmm, deflection. Yet another tell. In my position, dating is not an option ever. What position? You manage a pet supply store. <sighs> you wouldn't understand. It goes deeper than that. Enlighten me. Interesting choice of words, but I don't want to talk about it right now. Something tells me you don't have a choice. Why is that? Because Sparky just sent you a message. This means nothing. <laughs> <laughs> sure it doesn't. What can I get for you guys? Uh, I'll do a uh, vodka soda. And I'll do the usual. Who are you texting? Oh, uh, I'm just texting Amy, uh, checking on those reports for Mr. Booth. Funny, I took care of that earlier today. You wanna try that again? Uh, I, I'm texting my mother, actually. Uh, just checking on Dad, he's, he's had a small case of the gout. Your mom can barely operate a remote. I'm sure she can't. You were texting Ariel, weren't you? <laughs> what? Why would I be doing that? Because you're falling for her. And I should know, I had to pay Brian for the love pool. Brian in accounting? <sighs> what does he know about love? Why can't you just admit that you have feelings for Ariel? <sighs> I just met the woman and... Even if I did, it turned to shit in the end. Same as always. Always. Mm -hmm. Dude, you haven't dated anybody in like eight years. You are way past your expiration date. I know, but Ariel is just so... Jubilant. Exciting. Full of life. Yeah, those aren't the words I was going to use. Holy shit. You're scared of her. 
I am not scared of her. Yes, you are. You are scared. She is pulling you out of your dismal little corner of the world. Dismal. Yes, dismal. Now, you want my advice? Not in the least bit. Just enjoy this. Let it happen. And it might turn into something extraordinary. Or it could blow up in my face. Hey, you survived the regurgitator, didn't you? Barely. Well, this is just like that. Just throw your hands up, enjoy the twists and turns, and take a deep breath at the end. It's the end that I'm worried about. Nothing lasts forever, brother. Just enjoy while you have it. Are you sure you and Ariel aren't related? No. She is not crazy enough to be my family. but okay. I think that you could get him loosened up with this program. Oh yeah, no problem. <clears throat> Namaste, and welcome to Maya Yoga. Yoga, this really isn't my thing. Zip it, there is no negative energy in this building. Now, I'd like you to meet my good friend, Marcy. It's nice to meet you. Ariel's told me so much about you. Really? Mm -hmm. She's told me nothing about you. I see what you mean. It's going to be a little bit of work, but I think we've had tougher cases. We'll start with the chakra alignment. Oh, no thanks. I, I had that done at my chiropractor last week. <laughs> ah, a sense of humor. I never would have guessed. It pops out from time to time. Kinda like a squirrel in winter. So I'm a squirrel now? Now that actually makes sense, since you are kinda nuts. Oh, calling someone nuts who's about to have your physical and mental well-being in their hands? Not very smart, Sparky. Come on, let's get to work. Oh, you do have insurance, right? Full medical. Good. You're gonna need it. So, people actually do this on purpose? Mm -hmm. All the time. It helps you center yourself. Ugh. So does a good, stiff drink. Hush, you're killing the vibe. Sorry. Now, close your eyes. No funny stuff. Mouth and eyes closed now. Take a slow, deep breath in. Out. Concentrate on your breathing. Nothing else exists but the sounds of your breath. Visualize yourself flying over a peaceful meadow. You are lighter than air. Now, let's go back in time. Back to a time when life was good. You were happy and you have your whole life in front of you. What do you see? Uh, I see a small pond. My dad and I are fishing. He's having to paint the hook because he knows I'm too squeamish. I cast out my pole and he says, Great cast, son. I get a bite and reel in the fish. It's not very big, but it might as well be a great white for my dad's reaction. That's a doozy, son. He looks at me like I can do no wrong. I feel like I can conquer the world. I want you to burn this memory into your brain. Whenever negativity comes over you, pull this memory out. It's protection against your demons. Now open your eyes. How do you feel? P pretty good. Thank you. Superb! You're well on your way to peace and tranquility. The feeling was incredible and... pretty much the only one I have in my body oh, right now. Oh, sorry, here, let me just help you out. Uh, whoop! <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, lesson's over. Now. Hang on a second. 
We, uh, we made some progress here today, correct? I believe so. So then I get to ask you another question. Okay, make it quick. Um, tell me about your family. That is not a good question and not a good subject. I'm sorry, Alex. I'll take family tree for a thousand. I don't discuss my family, sorry. So you give me one of the happiest memories I've had in a long time, and then you renege on our deal? I knew this would happen. I'm out of here. Wait! All right, fine. However, there's not really much to share. It's just me and my father, and we haven't spoken in a while. Why not? Let's just say we don't see eye to eye on things. What things? Like how to treat people. My father can be a very vengeful person, to say the least. Hmm. I didn't think I could pull it off. What? I coaxed more out of you than you were willing to give. That's the first sign of a great negotiator. I think I'm ready for Wall Street. You tricked me? You sneaky, conniving- No, no! Uh, no negativity in this building. Hey, what the hell are you doing here? I work here, remember? No, what are you doing here already? You never show up early. Time's changed, my friend. You gotta play the role if you want the dough. Very funny. Seriously, what are you doing here at 7.15 a.m.? Let's see. I typed up the specs on the BME report, fixed some bugs for three of our other clients, and bought breakfast. Damn. Well, you should have fallen in love earlier. We'd be millionaires by now. I'm not in love. I'm just seeing the world in a different light. I'm guessing because of the gothic Mary Poppins. Mm -hmm. When are you seeing her again? Uh, tonight, actually. She's taking me to a classified location. And you seem surprisingly open to this clandestine rendezvous. Ooh, someone has been using his word of the day calendar. Dickhead. Mm. That's a word for you. And we're back to the gutter. Hey, I'm happy that you're just at least open to the possibilities this relationship might provide. Well, I wouldn't go so far as to call it a relationship just yet. Whatever you want to call it. How does Ariel feel? Honestly, I'm not sure. Okay, well, just be careful. I don't want to see you crawling back in the hole that you crawled out of. Oh, come on, it was nice and cozy with all the amenity. You know what I mean. I do, and I appreciate your concern. But come on! We got a ton of shit to do today. Hey. I like the new Derek. I do. I just want him to stick around, okay? Oh, by the way, uh, you got a package delivered. I, I had him put it in the mailroom for you. A package? I didn't order anything. I don't know. You might want to check it out. It's pretty big. Really? <laughs> Surf's up! I'm so glad you made it! I think by now we've established I don't have a choice. True, but you don't have the distinct look of regret on your face, so that's progress. Left it at the office. I'm all yours. Fabulous! Come on, I have a table reserved down front. <laughs> reserved for what? No hints. It'll ruin the surprise. Now, I need a handsome devil to come up on stage and play with me. Please. Over here! Yes. How about you, handsome? <laughs> Don't try to hide uh, from me. Uh, uh, come on. Okay. Go! <laughs>
you to go up on stage. Something tells me they were coerced. That transparent, huh? Slightly. Okay, fine. I'm busted. I may have set you up. Why? One, to get you loosened up for the night. And two? <laughs> because I thought it would be hilarious. Not too mad, are you? <laughs> no, to tell you the truth, it wasn't all that horrible. Color me surprised. Sparky actually enjoyed himself in an awkward situation. Don't get used to it. Fair enough. Now, on to the best part of the night. Oh god, what now? Q&A time! Oh, shit, I thought you forgot. Not on your life. Okay, fire away. What do you want out of life and no cop-out answers? I... I guess I just want to be left alone. Why? Because no one can hurt me that way. But if you're always alone, then you can never experience the fantastic things this world has to offer. Not everyone is you, Ariel. Of course not. I'm one of a kind. You have to get out and live life, Derek. It could end in the blink of an eye. Do you want to go out without ever reaching for the brass ring? What if I miss? Then at least you tried. You can't catch the big one if you never cast your line. Nice touch. I do my best. Oh, that reminds me, there's one more place we gotta go tonight. Come on, Sparky, I'll race ya. What are you doing? Uh, reaching for the brass ring? That's not what I meant. Oh, I'm sorry. I gotta go. I... Hey boss, is it safe to come in? Huh? Yeah, come on in. Are we ready to open yet? Yeah, we're good to go. Uh, you okay? I'm fine. What do you mean? Well, you came right by me without saying a word and now you're uh, sweating like a whore in church. Bad analogy, Wayne. Is there uh, something I can do? I wish. Unfortunately, this is something I have to deal with on my own. Does it have to do with Derek? You could say that. So, did things get a little heated with you guys last night? From my perspective, yes. So, tell Uncle Wayne all about it. Well, he kissed me. And? That's it. That's it? Isn't that enough? Where did he kiss you? Ew, don't even go there. Sorry. So, uh, did you kiss him back? Yes. A little. Righteous! Stop it. It's not a good thing. It isn't. Absolutely not. I told you before, I can't have feelings for him or anyone else. Yeah, you said that before, but you never seemed to elaborate. I wish I could, but I can't. Okay. Let's uh, map things out here. So, Derek kissed you. Correct. And you kissed him back. Yes. And this is a bad thing. Most definitely. Yeah, that didn't clear up shit. Can we just drop this, please? On top of everything else around here, I have to figure out what I'm going to do about Derek. Hello? Uh, saved by the bell. Not funny. Okay, I'm going to grab the packages, get to work, figure out what to do about it. Get the packages, grab to work, figure out what to do about it. What's she gonna do? Fire me? Got enough water there, bud? Uh, oh, hey. Well, by the looks of the water damage and me seeing your pasty ass white legs in the office, I'm guessing last night didn't go so well. Yes, and, and no. Well, then I'm happy and sad for you. The night started off great. Went to a bar, had a couple drinks, and, and had a great time. The dry queens weren't too much for you? Jesus, is any part of my life not for public consumption? I suppose you were taking bets on that too. Maybe. Did you at least win? Depends. If you stayed out all night, 
Then I cleaned up. Good for you. Since it's my life on the table, I want 50%. Deal. Okay, what happened after the bar? We went out for a nice walk, had a great talk, and then I kissed her. You what? I know, right? Well, what, what did she do? Well, at first she kissed me back, and then all of a sudden she pulled away like I had ripped all my clothes off in front of her. Well, that's a visual. And then she just walked off and left me standing there all alone. Damn, bro. I don't know what to say. Why do I always have to screw things up? Hey, who said anything about you screwing this up? It sounds a lot more like Ariel has an issue she's dealing with. Yes, I know, but I should have seen that. Why did I have to kiss her? Because you are head over heels in love with her. Excuse me? Oh, sorry, I thought that was a question. <sighs> this is all your fault, you know. You pushed me into this. Me? How in the hell is this my fault? Well, I was perfectly happy before you let her in this office. No, you, you were perfectly miserable, and you were taking all of us down with you. Doesn't matter anyway. Probably never gonna see her again. Hey, I, uh, I gotta go out for a bit. Can you handle things here? Ariel? Yeah. Yeah. Go. Take all the time you need. Thanks, buddy. You're the best. Don't I know it. What are you doing here? You sent me a text message? I didn't send you a me- You are so fired! Come on, someone had to step in! You must be Derek, I'm Wayne. Nice to meet you. Um, so should I go? Or... Of course not! Everyone's welcome here! <laughs> Even those of us who overstep our bounds a bit? You didn't, I mean- I kinda- uh... Hey, Wayne, can you watch the store for a little while? Your wish is my command, my... Uh -huh. I mean, boss. Come on, Sparky. We gotta talk. So what exactly did I do wrong? Nothing. And everything. Well, that's nice and vague. Patience, young grasshopper. Look, I'm getting to it. Look, can we cut all the student-teacher bullshit? Just talk to me like a human being. Fine, but you don't have to use that kind of language. I thought there was something between us. There is, or there seems to be. That's the problem. Why is that a problem? Two people meet, they fall for each other. I'm, I'm really not seeing the issue here. It's not that simple for me. Why? I prefer to have a business relationship with the people I have. So I'm still just a project to you? Yes, no. Damn it. I don't know anymore. Why are you making this so difficult? When we met, I was in a really dark place. And now I look forward to waking up every day and experiencing the world. That's all because of you. And I'm ecstatic about that, but... But, but what? The kiss? The kiss. Was it that bad? No. Quite the opposite. I can't become emotionally attached to someone. It wouldn't be a good thing. It sounds to me like you already are. What makes you say that? And if you say my pupils are dilating, I'm gonna freak out. Your pupils aren't dilating, but they do tell quite the story. What are you doing? Taking a chance. Taking a chance? Yeah. Either you're gonna kick my nuts up between my eyes, or you're gonna kiss me back. You value your nuts so little? Eh, they weren't getting used anyway. Damn you! What? Why do you have to be so irresistible? It's a gift. So where do we go from here? Ice cream! <laughs> Excuse me? What's better after a kiss than ice cream? Uh, I can think of a few things. <laughs> Come on, stop it. I know of a great place. Ariel. Excuse us. Uh, we have to talk. What are you doing here? I thought you didn't want to be seen. That doesn't concern me. But what I see happening here does. What's the matter, Father? Can't stand to see me happy for a change? Oh, you're wrong and you know it. This can't happen. Well, it is. 
And for once, I'm thinking about me first, and there's nothing you can do about it. You and I both know that's not true. Excuse me, sir. If, if I could interject for no. a minute. No. Okay. I'm just going to stand over here by this pole. You two, talk it out. You will end this charade and come with me right now, young lady. I will do no such thing. Stop me or don't stop me, but it won't solve anything. Come on, Derek, let's go. Shit. Straight to voicemail. <sighs> Not sure. I haven't been able to reach her since yesterday's adventure. Oh yeah? What happened there? Hang gliding over the uh, river? Or dance lessons in front of a courthouse? We ran into her father. And I'm guessing that didn't go so well. For no one involved, he made it abundantly clear he doesn't approve of me. Well, how does Ariel feel about it? That's what matters. The phrase tough shit wasn't uttered, but it was definitely implied. Damn, bro. That is not a good way to start. Eh, to tell you the truth, he's kind of an arrogant ass. Damn it. I'm gonna run by her apartment. Make sure she's okay. You know where he lived? Well, I haven't exactly been there. Well, what the hell's that mean? I... kind of used one of our programs to ping her phone. Wait, what? You're a psycho stalker! Fuck you! I, I already feel guilty enough as it no, is! No, no, I'm proud of you! Using technology to track your prey. That's felony shit, bro! Alright, I'm out of here. I'll talk to you later. Go get her. Hey, when you get arrested, ask them if they need a software upgrade. Well, either that or the bail money's coming out of your paycheck. Can I help you? Uh, is Ariel home? Who's asking? My name is Derek. Uh... You must be Sparky. I'm Emily, her roommate. Hi. You're welcome to come in and wait. Oh, I'm, I'm not sure that's such a good idea. No, it's all right. I'm just cleaning. Oh, okay, but only for a minute. Would you like something to drink? Uh, no, thank you. No, I'm fine. Have a seat. I, uh, take it that's Ariel's. You catch on fast. She said you were smart. Though I must say, I pictured you a bit more... Passive? I was gonna say meek or frail, but passive is good. She must have painted quite the picture of me. Honestly, I'm quite impressed with you. Uh, Ariel is an extremely complex woman, and uh, you've managed to break down what I thought was an impenetrable wall. <laughs> well, the meek shall inherit the earth, or... Survive a week with Ariel, I, I don't know which is more difficult. Each accomplishment is daunting in its own right. Where do you plan on taking this relationship? <laughs> I'm not sure. It's both exhilarating and exhausting. Hmm. Have you done time? Uh, once, years ago, in detention after I hit Coach Warlock with a spitball. Have you done any felonies? Any skeletons in your closet I should know about? Ah, oh, that's right. She, she mentioned you were in law school. Well, I am invoking my Fifth Amendment rights, and I refuse to say anything that will incriminate me. Well played, sir. I believe you can stand down now. <laughs> Works for me. I've got to be going anyway. Um, when Ariel gets home, can you let her know I stopped by? Sure thing. Can I offer some advice? As long as you don't bill by the hour. <laughs> Tread lightly. She has a heart the size of heaven. Don't break it. She may act tough, but inside there's a scared little girl. I swear I'll do my best. Does it count if I don't put my hand on the Bible? <laughs> nice. I'll let her know you stopped by. Hey. Oh, sh Dude, you okay? Holy shit, dude. You scared the shit out of me. <sighs> Sorry.
Sorry, not supposed to curse in front of the customers. Can I help you? Yeah, is Ariel in? Yeah, she's in the back. You want me to grab her? Yeah, if you don't mind. Righteous. Nice dude, by the way. Thanks. You too. Hey, Wigs. What brings you to our little urban jungle? Right, here. Funny. I was just in the neighborhood and I wanted to drop by. Uh-huh. The neighborhood is 10 miles from your office. You want to try again? Okay, you're good. I wanted to come talk to you about Derek. Oh, that's so cute. You're marking your territory. Did you come all this way just to scare me off? No, actually, I came to thank you. Like, he has never been happier or more productive. Like, the company has never run more smoothly. That's great news. Where's my bonus check? I'll bring it next time. But seriously, like, I'm so stoked for both of you guys. Like, he is nuts about you. Yeah. I know. Is that a bad thing? No. Yes. Okay, I, I'll follow. I'm crazy about him too. It's just there are extenuating circumstances with our relationship. Yeah, your dad? He told you? He said something about him not being happy about you guys dating. You could say that. So what? Why does his opinion matter so much? He, he's a powerful man. He's used to getting what he wants, and right now, he wants me to stop seeing Derek. Is he like a mafia boss or something? No, but you're not far off. If you and Derek truly care about each other, then it doesn't matter what anybody else thinks. It only matters if you're happy. I wish it were that easy. It can be that easy. Just stop sweating the small stuff and love the person that you're with. <laughs> Quoting 70s music? You are such a hippie. I guess it's uh, in the blood. But I need to run. Seriously, it was really good seeing you again. You too, Waves. Hey, Ariel? Yeah? Derek's my best friend, and he would move heaven and hell for you. I just hope that you'll be able to. I may have to. Hey stranger, I've been trying to reach you all day. Everything okay? Just had a couple things on my mind. You wanna grab some coffee? Sure, I'm right by the cafe right now. How soon can you be here? About two seconds after you. <laughs> I knew you for a stalker from the day I met you. I don't hear any complaining. Not one bit. <laughs> What's going on with you? Huh? You haven't said a word for like 10 seconds now. Might be a new record. Sorry, just thinking. About your father? For starters. Why do you let him get to you like that? I know how he is. He's against us being together and probably plotting this very minute. Let him plot. I'm not scared. You should be. We both should be. I've waited my whole life for someone like you. I don't care who's against it. I, I want to be with you. I want it too, more than you know. I just don't want to see you get hurt. By him or by you? Him? Derek, I would never do anything to hurt you. I hope you know that. I do now. I have tried my whole life to please this man, and nothing is ever good enough. Then why keep trying? We have each other now. It doesn't matter what your father thinks. It does. He... He is... I wish I could find the words to explain to you. Just tell me, whatever it is, I can take it. It's not that simple. I'm sorry, I didn't want to take all our time rambling on about my father. If it involves you, it involves me from this day forward. 
You are so sweet. I'd better get back to the pet shop. I'll send you a text later. Okay. Derek, I care about you very much. Don't forget that, okay? Sorry, I'm late. Whoa, dude. Sorry, I didn't see you there. Uh, how'd you get in here? Find Ariel. I'll speak with her. Personal space there, bro. Uh, who are you anyways? None of your concern. Father, what are you doing here? Father? Righteous. It's nice to meet you, sir. I'm... You're leaving. It's okay, Wayne. Take a break. You sure? Yeah, I got this. I warned you about keeping this relationship going with this man. And I told you I was going to keep seeing him. He makes me happy. Happiness has nothing to do with it. We both know that this will not end well for either of you. Are you threatening me, Father? Merely stating the obvious. The last time we spoke, you told me I was a spoiled, rotten child, and I needed to learn about how the world works, remember? Yes. Well, I learned about how the world works, and it's pretty damn good. I even made a few improvements, in case you haven't noticed. Yes, we've all noticed, but that's not the subject here. Yes, I know. The subject is that I found someone who makes me happy, and it isn't you, is that right? Look, it's enough chatter. You will come with me now. I will not. This is where I belong. You belong with me. That may have been true once, but that was before your massive ego got in the way. You have no right to question me, Ariel. I have every right. I'm your daughter. You once told me that love was the most important thing in the world. And I finally found that. Please, don't ask me to give that up. You cannot love that man. It's he's Your not... way? I know, it's my way. All of my own free will. You do remember free will, don't you, Father? I'm aware of the concept, yes. I know. It goes against your wishes, but you have to let me live my life. I will not condone this relationship. He's beneath you. Oh, the irony. Do as you will, Father, but I'm staying with Derek. What's wrong, babe? You've been distracted all morning. Huh? Oh, sorry. <laughs> You're not seeing other clients behind my back, are you? No, I'm retired and loving it. So what's going on in that pretty little brain of yours? Ew, please don't do that again. Too mushy? Just a bit. <laughs> well, are you going to tell me or do I have to guess? I had a visit from my father yesterday. And it didn't go so well? You could say that. I'd really rather not talk about it. Fine. Since you were in obvious need of a distraction and I'm not exactly fitting the bill, I have an idea. This is probably not the best time. Oh, but it is, milady. Can I interest you in a romantic candlelit dinner at the area's most exclusive and overpriced French restaurant? Sounds fantastic, but in case you haven't noticed, I'm not exactly an upscale dining kind of gal. Mm. I know. That's why I reserved us a table at Cronin's for the MMA fights. Ah, oh, now we're talking! Yes! Oh! <laughs> you really know a way to a woman's heart, don't you, Sparky? Lots of blood and broken bones. Oh. What every woman wants. <laughs> yes! Idea. Can you make that reservation for four people? What exactly are you up to? Just thinking of coming out of retirement. 
Retire. Oh no. You don't mean what I think you do. Possibly. I really don't think that's a good idea. You dare question my authority? No way, but if you're planning what I think you are, it could result in some serious psychological damage. To who? Me! Oh, you are so cute! Don't worry. All you have to do is sit back and enjoy the ride. About Ryan Nash, so, so I, of course, I, I just happen to. I told you this was a bad idea. Never fear, my love. I know what I'm doing. That's the part that scares me. So, who's having a good time tonight? Our passion is at a fever pitch. Oh, yeah, I don't know the last time I've had this much fun. Well, oh, goddess of matchmaking, let's see you get out of this one. Are you mocking me? Mocking? No. Recognizing an epic fail when I see it, yes. Oh, ye of little faith. A successful plan for attack begins with the first shot. Or four. Did you order these? Sit back and learn, Sparky. Masterclass is in session. A toast to good friends, both old and new. Damn, that is good shit. I'd say you have good taste, but you are dating Derek. <laughs> Asshole. <laughs> well, at least we got the fights to appreciate. I can't wait to watch Jackson kick the shit out of Rodriguez. Are you kidding me? Jackson doesn't stand a chance. What do you know about MMA? Rodriguez has won his last five fights by TKO or better within the first two rounds. His ground and pound is far superior to anything that Jackson has, and his Muay Thai skills are some of the best in the division. You knew this all along, didn't you? Who, me? Sweet, innocent Ariel? Uh-huh. Doesn't mean anything. Just you wait. The fireworks are just beginning. Waitress! Four more, please. Yes! I told you Rodriguez would kick his ass. <laughs> Lucky guess. Jackson had an off night. He's washed up. That's three in a row he's dropped. No, that was rigged and you know it. Rookie could have gotten out of that. You want to bet? Hey buddy, I think we're gonna get out of here. Can you handle a check? Yeah, sure. I'll, I'll put it on the company card. Sure, works for me. Hey mom, don't wait up. After you. Don't wait up to me. Oh, believe me, I won't. Don't even. Who's the master? I'm not gonna say it. Come on. Who's the master? Fine. You're the master. You may now grovel at my feet. When the master speaks, you must obey. Hey there, whoa! What happened to you? Food poisoning. And I have to take the bar exam in the morning. Oh, is there anything I can do? Kill me? Not funny. It just came out of nowhere. I just started violently throwing up. Can you postpone? No way. It'd be another six months before I could retake. You are in no condition to take that exam in the morning. I have to. <laughs> I'm taking you to the ER. What's the point? Spending the night there for them to tell me I have food poisoning? I already know that. But I want to help you. Yeah. Unless you have a magical cure, there's nothing you can do. Let me... No, no, my life is about to go down the shitter. Please just leave me alone. Well, let me at least change the no, trash can. No, no, I've got this. Please, go count your unicorns and rainbows. That's what you're good at. What else can go wrong today?
Where the hell have you been? I've been calling you for an hour. Now, calm down. I'm here now. What's going on? I don't know. I got the alert the system had been compromised. Didn't you get it? Uh, I'm not sure. I was with- Ariel. Of course. Why doesn't that surprise me? Hey, get off my ass. We got other stuff to deal with. Now, did it get into the mainframe? I don't know. I'm still running diagnostics. But from what I can tell, it hit the BME data first. What? H how much data was lost? I don't know! The system was in a massive upload when it happened. Shit, if we've lost that data, we're screwed. You don't think I know that? What kind of virus would target a specific database? Hello? Hey, Sparky. How's it going? Pretty shitty. I, I really don't have time to talk right I thought now. we could just- Look, I'm dealing with a major crisis. I really don't have time to deal with you. <sighs> Come on. Okay, it looks like we fixed whatever it was, and there seems to be no permanent damage. Thank God. Hey, I'm sorry I snapped you earlier. Just the thought of all of our hard work built up at smoke like that, just... It's no problem. It's over now. I guess I better get started on rebuilding the security system. No, hey, don't, don't worry about that. I got that. You got other things to deal with. What do you mean? Ariel? You were pretty harsh on her when she called her earlier. Oh, shit, I, I completely forgot about that. I better call her back real quick. Hmm. She doesn't seem to be answering. I need to go talk to her. You think? Go, I got this. Thanks. I owe you one. Yeah, you do. Oh, hi, Derek. Hi. H have you seen Ariel? She's not at work and she isn't answering her phone. No, I haven't. I need to go find her. I, I was a jerk to her earlier and I gotta apologize. Well, if you find her, apologize for me too. Why would I apologize for you? I was pretty hard on her the other day. Do you know where she might be? I have an idea. I gotta run. What are you doing sitting out here all alone? What do you care? You don't have time to deal with me anyways, remember? I am so sorry about that. I, I was dealing with... It doesn't matter what I was dealing with. It won't happen again. You hurt me, Derek. I know. I'm an ass. Can you ever forgive me? I don't know. You mean the world to me, Eric. You mean the world to me, too. But I won't be talked down to by you or anyone else ever again. Anyone else? As in your father? Yes, as in my father. I am not your father, Ariel. I'm well aware. The source doesn't matter. It still hurts the same. I know. No, you don't know. You don't know what it's like to live every day with someone hovering over you, judging you, knowing that you'll never live up to their expectations. You're right. I'm not perfect, no one is. I'm gonna mess up now and then, it's a part of life. It doesn't have to be. You fell for me, for who I am. Not what I could be, or what I'm supposed to be. If that's not enough, then what are we doing here? What are we doing here? Experiencing the ups and downs of an adult relationship. And part of that process is learning about each other, the good and the bad, knowing that Every single day will be better than the one that came before because we have each other. There's a bit of logic to that. When you truly care about someone, then nothing else matters. When did you become such an expert on relationships? 
since I met you. So am I forgiven? I suppose. Don't let it happen again. I swear well, to... Whatever you do, don't finish that sentence. What? Let's <laughs> just say you're forgiven and leave it at that. <laughs> Me. Do you have any spare change? Uh, no, I, I don't. I do. I always carry some. Do you believe in the hereafter? Why did you say that? Look, we don't want any trouble. Judgment day is inevitable. Are you prepared? Please don't do this. Revelation is upon us all. Relax. Just take the change and go. This isn't the way to do this. You made your point. Ariel, he isn't one of your clients. Yeah, I gotta run. You're gonna be fine. You're gonna be fine. Somebody help us! Hey, Sparky. Hey, relax. Just, just take it easy. I, I'm gonna get you to a hospital. Don't be afraid. What? Don't be afraid, Derek. I'll always be with you. Now and forever. Please, wake up. Ariel. Why'd you have to jump in front of that bullet? It should be me lying in this casket, not you. I'll never be the same without you. You brought out a part of me I didn't even know existed. I never believed that I could truly feel what love was until I met you. I am yours, mind, body, and soul now and forever. I love you, Ariel. not just up and leave. Who's gonna run the company? You're more than capable of running the company. You always have been. I know you've been through a lot, but you can't just up and leave. We have bills to pay and promises to keep and staff Stop to... it! I can't be here right now. I have to go away. I, I have to clear my head. I know you loved her, but you can't stop living your life just because she's gone. What kind of a life do I have without her? How can I function when I see her face around every corner? I, I still hear her voice in my head when I sleep at night. Well, when are you gonna be back? I have no idea. I guess when I can learn to live my life without her.
Well, I wish I had more that I could do for you, my friend. Unless you can bring her back from the dead, there's nothing you can do. Hey, Sparky. Stand there too long, the birds might mistake you for a statue. How can you be here? I... I saw you die. That was the little secret I was trying to keep from you all this time. Remember when I said it was from somewhere up north? Yeah. I'm from a little further north than you probably expected. I'm an angel. Well, I used to be. Wait, what? what? An angel? I told you my father and I had a falling out, right? Yeah. Well, as a result of said falling out, he banished me here to Earth as punishment. Your father. So, the, the man that I called an arrogant ass was... The one and only. This is way too much for me to handle. I never told you because I never thought that you'd believe me. You do believe me, right? How can I not? I mean, I, I watched you die and now you're standing here right in front of me. Why exactly are you here in front of me, by the way? When I jumped in front of you, I committed the ultimate sacrifice. I gave up my life to save yours. Father knew then that I finally understood what true love was. So, are you back for good? Because I really don't think I could stand losing you a second time. You and I are here on this earth together. I am yours mind, body, and soul. And I love you too. <laughs> so where do we go from here? We never got that ice cream. Ice cream it is. One scoop or two? Two scoops! Go big or go home, Sparky! You know, I really hate that nickname. Yeah, I know.